guys in this video let's talk about the 24 h2 update that has now come to windows so let's go to start and settings so that i can show you that i am running and if you haven't updated just go to windows update and update it uh, well we'll go to systems and scroll down to about and here you can see and here you can see in windows specifications we are running 24h2 version that i have recently installed on my laptop so first things first uh, one of the features i like is uh, see i am now using the file explorer and if i want to duplicate it i have to maybe copy its path and then uh, go to the plus and then in a new tab copy that path but now you can just go to the name of the tab uh, right click and here you can see we have an option to duplicate tab and the same tab has now opened up uh, again so the second thing is guys if you have an image in png format so let's just say i have the screenshot which is currently in png format so i'll go to its properties here you can see that as well so in png formats uh, you can just go to details and here you can see uh, before we could just uh, change a few things but now you can change almost everything over here you can just uh, name it so title is let's just say ss1 and i can change that so now you have a lot of values that you can actually change so even if uh, i want to change camera maker which even though it is a screenshot i'm naming it sony which is fine but i can apply it i can press ok and so now it has actually changed so i can just again go to properties and uh, go to details and here you can see i had typed in sony for no reason i had changed the the title of it and it has remained so now you can do that on .png files as well. Another thing is guys, if you go to settings, in settings you go to system in power and battery. So here you can see there's an option for energy saver. I can always turn it on with what percentage and everything. But it has gone from battery saver to energy saver because uh, you can also turn this on in PC. And you might think, hey, a PC doesn't really have uh, a battery. And you are right about it, but it will uh, generally just uh, reduce the amount of power consumed uh, with it turned on rather than it not being turned on so that is one of the uh, differences the next thing is guys now you have sudo access on windows so sudo is a linux command which you run in uh, command prompt but to do that you have to go to uh, the developer settings and uh, changes so you can just open settings go to system and you can go to for developers over here and if you scroll down here you have enable sudo if you don't know what it means please don't turn it on so if you just want to use your terminal or your command prompt and use uh, sudo commands you can do that as well now again in settings guys if i go to settings personalization and i go to background uh, here you can see we have choose a photo and i can browse for photos which is fine so if I go to the type of files over here, here you can see JXR, JXL, uh, AWFs, all of these have been added which are generally uh, quite rare to use. So I think that is nice, they are just including everyone here. So guys from 24H2, uh, if you are updating your windows, the package size for the update is now going to be reduced. How is that going to be reduced? Well before what used to happen is they used to have cumulative updates. Uh, wherein uh, you have to download the let's say security patch in january and then if you want to update it to, uh, in june you have to uh, update all the january february march april may and then june so all these packages will come together and then you can update uh, it in june so the june package will effectively whether or not you need those files will also house those files so that was a lot of data that you have to download and then update so the file size now will be smaller so there is also Wi-Fi 7 support for newer PCs and laptops. Well, now you can go to quick settings and you can see that you can now scroll through them uh, and what page you are uh, is also shown on the right side. And that is very handy for some people. If it's not handy for you, you can just have six settings on the top and leave it at that and forget about it. And now we have fewer pre-installed apps as well. So if I go to start, I go to all apps over here. And here you can see we don't have Cortana anymore. We don't have uh, WordPad even. So they have taken out WordPad because I don't think anyone was using it. We still have the Notepad app, but not the WordPad app. So some of the apps have been taken away, which may have been updated, have a new version or are not uh, required anymore. Other than that, if you do a fresh install for 24H2, uh, BitLocker by default will be turned on. So yeah, guys, the, those are a few things that have come up. 
uh, new in 24H2 update. If you like the video, drop a like, share and subscribe. See you in the next one.